What I have to say is Jedi business. What's up? This is your man Dre Mac, and let's talk about Ahsoka. Now, I know a lot of y'all are very upset at me because I said Ahsoka is boring. This man. No. But I'm not actually talking about the show, I'm talking about the portrayal of Ahsoka. Now, I want to tell you guys, I absolutely love Rosario Dawson. I think she's an amazing actress. She's been doing her thing for so many years and I absolutely adore her, but I do have a little validity of what I'm saying about the portrayal of her character. Now, I'm going to show you just a few clips of Rebels, especially the Ahsoka parts that actually gives you a little bit of clearance of what I'm just actually saying. I'm not saying the show was bad. I absolutely think the show was amazing. And there's certain parts of Ahsoka that Rosario Dawson is killing until she has a part where she has to talk and it just sounds like she's wooden. This is just my thoughts, but let's get into it. Let me just show you this clip real quick. The last time I saw him, he was rushing off to save the Chancellor. Then everything changed. The war ended, and the Jedi were accused of treason. One by one, they were hunted down. Anakin never got to finish my training. Before the end of the Clone Wars, I walked away from him. From the Jedi. Just like I walked away from Sabine. Even in the clip I just showed, what made Ahsoka so awesome in the Rebels and Clone Wars show was the way that she expressed her feelings about her friends, about what was going on, especially about Anakin Skywalker. Now, it's the way that she spoke with her eyes on the show, the way that they, uh, you know, Dave Filoni actually illustrated that character to be shown on screen, even though this is a show for, this is a cartoon for kids. I didn't even know that it was going to be canon in Star Wars, but this is canon. So in that canon, you can see she, she's very expressive and, and the things that she's saying, you can actually believe. But if you listen to Rosario Dawson's take on the character now, you don't have those certain type of characteristics that just makes me believe in what she's really saying or if she's just reading this like she's reading lines. That's the only difference. If you go and look at this clip here. Yes, I do. You can't save your master, and I can't save mine. Now, I'm going to just suppose and look at this clip here. So difficult. Considering your history, I'd say that's expected. But you and I both know Sabine gives you the best chance of reading that map. All right. Just wish she had changed a little. When you look at both clips, you can see how the expression that Ahsoka is giving and Rosario Dawson just as at this point has not tapped into that. That's the only thing that I'm saying. Thank you for trusting my friend. Now, some people won't agree with this, but to me, this is just season five of Rebels, just live action. And the scene where uh, Sabine and Ahsoka meet each other at the end that was done at the end of Rebels, that's where this show starts at. We get a lead up, we get to that part, and now we're going forward in the story. And all I'm saying is that there is a difference between how the character was portrayed in Rebels, even though she was absent for all of season three, there's still a difference between the way that she was portrayed in that show and the way that she's portrayed now. Now, again, I'm not saying that Rosario Dawson and the character cannot be a little bit different as time progressed in the show. I'm just saying right now, her character is not giving me what the original character gave. Now, everybody else, amazing 
and I just I'm enjoying the show. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. It's not like I'm I'm just trying to crap on the show and says the show is just crap. I'm not saying that. I'm not even saying her portrayal is 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 a low point of the show. All I'm doing is showing you that this is something that could be a problem going forward if the character doesn't get closer to her rebels counterpart now what i will say is this if i don't know if rosario dawson actually watched rebels and you know seen the way the character was portrayed you know to go forward or she's doing her own rendition but right now there's just a little disconnect and i just wanted to be a little bit different I thought I was sent here to stop the Empire, but then I found you. But what do you guys think? Am I tripping? Have I do I need to go in the Star Wars corner with my with my dunce set and try to use the force to remove it? Who told you that? Or, or do you agree with me? Just put it in the comment section. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe. Make sure you comment in the comment section. I don't care as long as you are talking like you actually got some sense that you're not, you know, being rude or disrespectful. You can disagree. Just make sure that you do it in a respectful manner. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you never, ever miss one of my videos. Until next time, I'll holler at you guys later. Peace and vibe higher, y'all. Y'all take it easy. I gotta let the top back on this forehead. May the force be with you.